I have had such a beautiful time. We shot for like six, seven days, and it was all like night shoot. With him, I was like, there's this vacuum in my life. I'm like, what just happened? This has happened to me. Like I have shot with uh, the S R K. In uh, Bachchan sir was also going to be in. I said, of course. Like even if it is the screen time is for a minute, I will do it. It is a very different experience when you're shooting for a film which is so high on VFX. Uh, Thankfully, because of my TV experience, I've done a lot of VFX work, whether it was yes. Mahadev or Nagarjuna. Yeah. But this was completely different. This was like a field of green screen, you know. Hey guys, this is Manjri Mukherjee, and you're watching me on Pop Diaries channel. Uh, well, what can I say about her? I fell in love with her. when i first saw her as sati in devaki dev mahadev then i fell a little bit more in love with her when i saw her in nakin and while we are talking about her latest gig as junoon in brahmastra well what can i say i just love her as a person and maybe a little biased because she's moni roy and she's bengali, <laughs> bengali. and i am also the same <laughs> so yeah i am rooting for her always <laughs> thank you thank you so much for the lovely introduction firstly i have to congratulate you I did not watch Brahmastra when it released. Let me tell you. Okay. So fell in love with Brahmastra the moment I saw the trailer. Oh. So I was really excited for the movie, and because VFX and everything, but I have to tell you, I wasn't disappointed. I was actually more in love, and especially with you. Thank you so so much. That's like Your, the sweetest kindest thing ever. I think Junoon has absolutely slayed it throughout the film. Thank you. She has absolutely slayed it. I mean, obviously, you have slayed it. Thank But you. I want to know the interesting story behind actually getting Juno. So I was shooting for Gold, and uh, Mukesh Sir, Mukesh Chabra, he had uh, he called me in uh, this one fine uh, rainy London day, and he said, you know, there's this big film. Do you want to do a special appearance in it? And he told me it's a uh, Ranveer Alia uh, uh, film, and. Uh, Even uh, Bachchan sir was also going to be, and I said, "Of course! Like, even if it is the screen time is for a minute, I will do it." Mm. So, and then I came back, and you know that day Ayan was very busy, and uh, he said, uh, "Well, he'll be able to meet you for only ten minutes. Do you want to go and meet him?" I said, "Yeah." So I went in, and I remember talking to him for like three and a half hours, and you know, we. Uh, I think I knew in our first meeting that I was uh, doing the film. He knew that I was playing the part, and it was supposed to be a special appearance, in fact, and. Uh, slowly slowly i think when they developed the story more and everything they kind of felt like you know they needed me to incorporate juno a little bit more mm. and then it became uh, a full the role of a main oh my god uh, villain and the main antagonist like how <laughs> I, mean, i i think you know there was this part where i was feeling ki yaar mat maro usko <laughs> let's continue her as the main villain <laughs> so i i felt like that you know by the end of the whole thing Uh, what was it like though? It is a di very different experience when you're shooting for a film which is so high on VFX. You know? Yeah. So what was it like, especially in action kind of a thing as well? Well, uh, thankfully because of my TV experience, I've done a lot of VFX work, whether it was yes. Mahadev or Nagarjuna. Yeah. But this was completely different. This was like a field of green screen, and you know there was just so many markings and so mm. many. Uh, points that you had to focus on and you know uh, sometimes speak dialogue sometimes do action sometimes just give reactions um it was difficult but i think the the there was an entire team a brigade of people to kind of help you out and uh, every department had to come together uh, bring their best energy and uh, i think put in as much hard work blood sweat for the film to become what it is today absolutely i i saw the effort you know yeah. hats off to the vfx the whole team, team yeah. exactly uh, i also noticed noticed one more thing uh, moni you were the only one who was sharing screen space with my absolute bias sharukh khan yeah like the only one and i was on cloud i love him i loved him he is just he is magical you know It's uh, I've had such a beautiful time. We shot for like six, seven days, and it was all like night shoot. And uh, you know that man has so much energy from the word go till like pack up, and then he's so nice to everyone, and he is so charming, so intelligent, so eloquent. Like you can sit and talk to him for hours, and you like 
like when it ended like the shoot period ended with him i was like there was this vacuum in my life i'm like what just <laughs> happened this has happened to me like i have shot with uh, the srk and but yeah great memories and i'm going to cherish them for a lifetime wow that's a very beautiful first impression if i yeah. have to ask i want to know you know when there are many actors when there's a mega star or kind of thing happening you know around you mm. and you have many great actors around you as well you learn and unlearn some with them yeah so was it was there something that you learned and unlearned with alia ranbir amitabh bachchan everyone to begin with i was it was nerve wracking to be shooting with all of them whether it was ranbir alia and uh, you know bachchan sir nagarjuna sir it was just an out of body experience that i was having constantly on this film um but yes i have learned so much i have learned uh, it their dedication is something uh, like it's beyond you know the way they are dedicated and attached to their films or the their parts is commendable uh, the way they translate on screen it's it's like you know they're very like sweet simple humble people off screen and then they suddenly you fire as yeah. soon as the camera turns on and so uh, unlearn if i have to say i think i have to unlearn every little bit that i kind of knew about acting to play this part because this was just the most difficult thing that i have had to do i'm a very animated yes. person i'm a bengali you know we have lots of expressions and like yeah. <laughs> you had to be so collected and everything out the fire the energy and the i don't know the confidence everything was very inbuilt it was all inborn mm. the I, i didn't need to have any projection outside but at the same time you had to be stern you had to be you had to invoke fear you had to invoke these emotions from people who are watching you so yeah it has been quite an experience but i all the credit credit goes to ayan to be very honest he kind of wrote the character he was very clear in his head that you know the this the heart of this character is very indian she probably you know it's uh, a glimpse that you can uh, take away from ma kali and that's that was the vision in his uh, mind was and he told me one very simple thing that junoon is uh, connected to brahmadev like moni i am connected to shivji or krishna so, uh, so he would remind me that every single day uh, on set and that kind of helped set the tone a lot wow that's very because i understand when you said you know it was a very difficult role for you because mm. i have seen the roles you have played before mm. and they are very expressive yeah they are very expressive and even when you are playing a mythological character like sati mm. or you are playing nagin okay so it was very imagine uh, yeah. so it becomes very expressive but mm. this one was somewhere i felt that you know you were really controlling yourself very nicely throughout the role and i didn't think you slipped your form even once thank you thank and you and that's so difficult much. when you're doing you a movie so like that Thank okay. You. I want to know you for me I feel that I have understood that you're an ace you're a game changer now you are changing the game in cinemas as well I feel that you choose movies according to that as well which changes the game of your career as well and your whole craft from TV to cinemas do you feel that there has been a very big leap that you've taken which has kind of you know made that clear difference to you I actually can I tell you something uh, I'm being very honest we don't uh, when you do a transition from TV to films there is not that much opportunity that comes come your way you mm-hmm. kind of have to pick and choose from the limited opportunities that you're getting uh, in that those uh, that the, those limited moments or uh, roles that I get to choose from yes I feel like that I've chosen well mm-hmm. and I want to continue to do so and i hope that brahmas do uh, like brahmas change changes some things for me for better and one can only hope you know and uh, and i truly i'm a firm believer um, of of the fact that work begets work and you know only your work and hard work can get you ahead in any industry uh, no matter where you are in life so and i'll continue to give my 100% to everything that i do my put my heart and soul into it and we'll see that is very goals <laughs> yeah i am putting you on goals <laughs> okay i also want to know ott takes away a lot from the cinemas yeah especially when it comes to audience hmm. do you feel that no 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 <laughs> cinema goes as to cinema goes and but i am very happy the all these ott platforms have come there is so much more work for us and such <laughs> brilliant roles being written for yes. us so men women both you know and also i think it is 
you know i always say in all my interviews our country is a country of storytellers we're filled with stories north to south east to west we are filled like this just diversity in the tradition culture food and we have so many stories and finally because of the ott platform so many of these different part of these stories are being told and it's so beautiful to see that because we don't need to go anywhere else we have it like real our real life is our best raw material you know what i mean yes. so i am very grateful to the these ott platforms and it should continue to be so but cinema is also cinema you know the i i am a complete I'm a theater goer. Like any movie, Hindi or English, would come out. I want to go and watch it in the theaters. So, and I'm really glad that Brahmastra so far is doing well. Um, that people are actually going to the theaters to watch a movie because it's it 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 had been quite a long time that they were doing so. So, yeah. I don't know about everything else, but as a movie to watch it, hmm. I think it's a good experience. Yeah, thank you. It kind of nails that part completely. Thank you. Thank you. So I felt that. Yeah, it's a visual treat, so you kind exactly. of have to go to the movies to kind of experience exactly. uh, the glory. And lastly, lastly, mm-hmm. I want to ask you this one thing: we see a lot of dismiss people taking liberties, mm-hmm. you know, around actors and actresses, you know, dismissing them, their work, mm-hmm. and using very harsh mm-hmm. ways of dismissing them. Mm-hmm. I want to know what are your thoughts on that? Is it really right that you can just go out there and dismiss someone's? art i truly believe when you have nothing nice to say don't say anything at all that is the advice <laughs> that is the advice but now if people are still doing that you're supposed to ignore them completely because they, these are phantom ghost writers who are hiding behind their screens and their computers and they have so much time in hand to do nothing but to do that you know so what can you do actually you just you kind of have to ignore and move on I think that is the goals. I why did I call her goals? <laughs> the way how she answered right now, you know. Yeah. So I will take away from that. Thank you. <laughs> Ignore everything else and just tell you to go watch Brahmastra. Please watch Brahmastra, guys. Watch it. It is a good visual experience. So Thank all those you. movie lovers can love it. Yes. Thank you. Thank and you. And don't forget to watch Junoon in it. Thank She's you. lovely. Thank you.